Hey my dear data friends, it's Nikola from Data Mozart. In this video I'll show you how to handle blank values in your Power BI report. While creating reports I'm sure that you're facing situations when you get blank, blank as a result and you don't want to display it like this to your end users. Of course, keeping blanks makes sense in most scenarios, but in some situations you may want to display something else instead of it. For example zero when it comes to numbers. Stay tuned as we are going to make some music from the data. Ok, I'm in my Power BI desktop and you can see total sales amount for every single brand within Contoso data model. Now let's say that I want to calculate sales amount for product key 364. So I will go and create a new measure here in my data model. Fine, and let's call it oops. Let's call this sales amount 364. And it equals so I will use calculate to manipulate the filter context. And I want to return sales amount. Okay, so I because I already have this explicit measure for sales amount, and I want to filter my data and to keep from product table. So I want to uh, filter product key table from uh, column from my product table, and I want to return only those values where product key equals 364 okay closing brackets and let's see how this looks like so if we drag this measure now to my table you can see that i have total sales amount for the product key 364 all the other cells are blank so the idea here is to uh, replace blank with some uh, more meaningful values like zero for example there are multiple different ways to uh, achieve this goal and I will show you three different uh, in this video. So first one is using if function, okay? So I will go and create a new measure, which I will call blank version one. And it equals, I will use if function. And now I want to test and say if it's blank, if my uh, value is blank, sales amount 364, it will evaluate to true or false. And if it's true, I want to return zero. If it's not true, I want to return 364. So sales amount 364. And if we confirm this, you will see that we have uh, our number for total sales amount for product key 364 and all the zeros instead of blanks here. Okay, fine. That was the first the first solution to this uh, to this challenge. The second one, I will create a new measure just to demonstrate that we are getting exactly the same results each time. So I will call this blank version two. And uh, recently not recently but last year power bi introduced a completely new function colesk uh, for those coming from the sql world this is a well-known function but let me explain briefly for those who are not familiar with it uh, basically colesk will walk through uh, the values passed as an argument uh, within the function and return the first non-blank value which is uh, like similar to not null in sql so if i write something like colesk and then provide value of column yeah column one column two column three and so on until column n uh it will go and check if it's uh, column one if it's blank it will go to column two and uh, evaluate column two if it's also blank it will go to column three until it find, finds first non-blank value if all the values in the function uh, which are provided within the function are blanks we can uh, set default value which we want for example in our example to be zero so if i provide here uh, my sales 
amount 364 as the 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 argument and then if it's null i want to return zero that's like simple as that so in this case i provided just one value for evaluation you can provide what uh multiple values if you want if i now put blank version 2 you will see that we are getting exactly the same results like in the previous case fine so these two are were quite simple and the, the third one is also simple and this is a little trick I saw from Jeffrey Wang. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, Jeffrey Wang is one of the creators of DAX language. Uh, what's the trick? In DAX, blank plus zero is zero. So I know for us coming from SQL environment who think of blank as a null twin from SQL, it's completely unexpected behavior. So if you try to run uh, uh, null plus plus zero in SQL Server Management Studio, you will get null as a result. But in DAX, in Power BI, this is zero. So if I go here and create a third measure, and let's call it blank version three, and just do sales amount 364 plus, oops, plus zero. Okay, and if I drag now this measure to my uh, table visual, you will see that we are again getting the same result. That, that, that's a really cool trick. Uh, as you could see, there are multiple ways of handling blank values in DAX, and depending on your data set, you should test and explore different possibility and choose the one that best suits your needs. That's all, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please click on that like button down below. Even better, you can subscribe to Data Monster channel and enjoy more cool Power BI and data videos.